it looks like pneumonia. Pneumonia, breath of life, which is kind okay. of funny, considering I'm, pneumonia and breath. I've seen this. <laughs> I've literally seen this. This is like, mm. you have to look at some like, anything that has like a blue eye on it, you have to look at it and then like look away and like back up to it or whatever. You can't look at it again. Like you have to set up every puzzle to let you work it or let it like, I don't know. It is a giant mind. I don't even know. I'm not even going to even say it. It's just a giant thing of confusion. Well, you should be named confusion. Well, from my understanding, reading this description, it basically sounds like you get to play as God and you get to have a very fun journey through a possible house or a puzzling world in a mind. It's like Inception, basically. I um, would probably put it to that, <laughs> but it is motion sickness. If they had a VR version of this, it'd be motion sickness. So, the best thing, though, about the game is it is the only game that I know of that is like released on the consoles that is actually using Unreal Engine 4 which just recently like a week ago became free as well as Unreal Tournament even though there's like five Unreal Tournaments and Unreal Tournament 1 Alpha but uh, it's all free check it out and I've, I've used Unreal Engine 4 it's actually pretty cool um, but uh, yeah I mean Unreal Engine 4 allows for four, f four what is it 1440 pixels at like 60 frames, it allows VR support. Um, it's really cool, except when it comes to high, such high um, display and all the graphics and whatnot, it kind of requires a good TV and all that. So, I mean, it's pushing the console to its limits. But, um. Maybe. Possibly, yeah, but. We will likely. never know! Xbox One, graphics wise, probably. <laughs> Or most Graphics wise, maybe, yeah, <laughs> possibly. But, possibly. Um, I mean, I doubt this game's in 440, considering, I mean, you need really good computers and whatnot for that, and, I mean, graphics are too for them to develop, so I, it's probably in 1080, but still, I mean, it looks, looks interesting. Once again, it's a puzzle game, though, so I despise it with a fiery passion, but um, it is supposedly action-adventure, so we'll give it a 3. <laughs> Give it a three. <laughs> um, alright, so... Oh, my favorite. Here we go. So. So, so, so. As you can see, I have rated it already. For reasons unknown to you, the people. But I will tell you the reasons. So, I was playing Evolve with my friends a few weeks ago. Like a month ago, actually. It's been a while. So, but, um... I know it gave me tough. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're, we're checking out Dragon Ball Xenoverse, the next gen fighting game. That's super amazing. Anyway, so as I was saying, I was playing on Evolve. Um, now I have a friend who's got like four hundred friends. He friends literally everyone he talks to, or even meets on a game, which he only plays online games. So you can imagine it's a lot of people, a lot of turn. Like his followers are like a hundred. It's funny. Anyway, um, so he, uh, so he, he, one of his friends, he's, I don't know how old he was, his voice was just, it was annoying, he, he had, he, it wasn't a squeaker voice, but it wasn't a non-squeaker voice either, so, um, but definitely it wasn't really, um, it wasn't great, let's just leave it at that. Now, he, he, was, he, he was talking, and we were talking about games, because he said, he was like, oh yeah, I'm a game reviewer, because we were talking about, I don't, I don't know, I don't even remember, like Far Cry 4 or something, and then we started talking about Dying Light, and he was, he was telling us about like why they made free DLC, and I mean, I already knew it, honestly, everyone could predict the free DLC, but that, regardless. Um, so we were talking about that, and he was like, yeah, I'm probably not going to play that game. That game just, you know, dead. it's going to be Dead Island, and that's all. I mean, like, yeah, I'm going to say Dying Light is basically Dead Island, but, like, ten times better, you know? Um, it's much better, much better, by far. 
And I, then he was like, I'm just going to go play Far Cry 4. I'm like, well, you like you probably like Far Cry 4, right? And he's like, yeah, I do. And I'm like, well, Far Cry 4 and Dying Light are practically almost the same game. And he's like, nah, no, they aren't. I'm like, yeah, they're really similar. They both have crafting systems. They both have really good graphics and big worlds. They both have pretty unique AIs to an extent. I mean, they're both open worlds, and they both are pretty gory, so they're really similar, and so it's just, and he was talking about that, then he was like, yeah, then we like, then we started talking about whatever, and we are because I was winning the game on Evolve, and then he was like, yeah, I'm just, I can't wait for Dragon Ball Xenoverse, and I was like, what? I was like, I, I was, I was just like, wait, so you like Dragon Ball Xenoverse, you can't wait for that game, and you don't like Dying Light, he's like, yeah, I can't wait for it, I pre-ordered it and everything, and I'm like, no, just no, I was so tempted to kicking him from the party at the time, except sadly, the one time I'm never party leader, I wasn't, and so I couldn't do it, so... He left shortly after because um, I don't know. We I didn't. I was like, yeah, I don't want to talk. I don't because I don't like talking to people when they're playing a different game than me, unless I have something to talk to them about. So he's so he just. I was like, you should just leave. Just help us save us all and just leave. And he's like, all right, yeah. And anyway, the whole point of the story is that Dragon Ball. Every I've played two Dragon Ball games. They both were like a couple years apart. I think two. And their graphics and their gameplay and literally everything about them was was the same. The same. The, the same. It was like a sports game. Any EA sports game. This is that is Dragon Ball Z except anime fighting, basically UFC. In other words, now the funny thing is that I mean this is the latest Dragon Ball Z game now. Uh, the f I don't I don't I haven't played recent Dragon Ball Z games. Now it's talk. You now I'm gonna read the description. Screw it. So latest Dragon Ball Z game lets players customize, develop their own warrior from five races, including male, and female. More than 450 items be used in online, offline adventures. Create the perfect avatar. Learn new skills. Train. Uh, I don't care. Don't care. Don't even know who Trunks is. I hate the anime. So I don't care. Now. Like, Dragon Ball Z, let's... It's just horrible. It is literally the worst genre. The worst combo of fighting of a game I've ever seen. The f Other than Naruto games. Naruto games are probably the worst. But other than that, this is the next worst thing. Like, just... I don't even know what to say. Like, the funny thing was, he was like... I can't wait for this. Like he was like, yeah, yeah. I mean, nothing, nothing too, not too many improvements. Other, like he was yabbering on, and then he was like, yeah, I can't wait for the story though. That's where it's at. And I'm like, the story? You're kidding me, right? What fighting game has a story that's? I know. Worth you play a Soul Caliber game. One hour of a, probably less than an hour of story. I okay. could get it done in literally like. Yeah, it's like five matches. It's like the easiest thing. And a Dragon Ball Z, I highly doubt it's any different. Just this is so, so terrible. I, I, I was laughing when he's talking about it. I was like, I couldn't contain myself. I was like, wow, that is hilarious. And just, I, I have a friend who actually played it. I can't believe that. Uh, actually, he's played the crap out of, it, out of it. I've seen him playing it. I was like, God. Now, Bondi, I like them because they make good anime, but when it comes to games, no. 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 Just face palm. Face just, palm. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. So, rating is one star. I could do no rating, but that would mean not any type of rating, so it's one star. This game is not Inter Defiance approved. No. <laughs> No. Never. So, let's finish up. We got two more. Well, we got a bunch more, but... Um, Resident Evil... Uh, we'll do a complete season, actually. Um, so, Resident Evil 2, yada, 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 yada. I, I don't really care. Resident Evil... The only good Resident Evil was Resident Evil 5, and even then, it was really bad. So... I can't really say I care anything about this. 
Um, it looks okay for a game that got re-released. It doesn't look too bad. Yeah. I mean, I like that the That enemy movies. looks a lot like something out of Dead Space 1 or 2. <laughs> one or two where that's a game I would love to have on the Xbox one is a nice big old dead space give us a dead space Jesus I think dead space is over I'm pretty sure like dead space 3 concluded never dead space played dead space 3 there well I can assume no continuing I but, played um, all the way through each one and pretty much in succession and it yeah but um my it's my like impression amazing, good better better than the second one and then like Four is gonna be something ridiculous. My impression of this game right now is it's basically um, last the Last of Us. It kind of seems like the Last of Us, except Resident Evil, and not really a heartbreaking story, which Last of Us I assume had because it was so good. Apparently, it's a story-based game. Why so, do you just hate on story-based games? I, I I play Metro. What are you talking about? Metro is one you're of my just, favorite series. Besides Metro, you're just like like what? Name something, please. The story game, please. Last of Us. You just bashed on Last of Us. You haven't even been able to play it. You just bash on it. That's the whole point of the series, Cullen. I mean, look at Dragon Ball Z. I haven't played that, and I'm bashing the crap out of it. No, technically, you did play iterations of it, though. Well, I, I, the, yeah, you're right. I have played Dragon Ball Z. You're right. You are right. I have played Dragon Ball Z, Xenoverse, slash every other Dragon Ball Z. Um, then um, the Rugby, which will be the next game. I haven't played a Rugby game because they've always been indie games. Like rugby a dollar. They've been like a dollar game. game. People who are not pussies <laughs> in real life. Uh, and a not American. Punched. You get punched out. <laughs> anyway, it's a violent sport. Anyway, anyway, Revelations. I'll give it a three stars because, I mean, I like Resident Evil 5 too much. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Now, Rugby. Let's check out Rugby 2015, I hope. Now, this, I don't really have much. The next-gen rugby, rugby game is here. Packed with all the intensity, passion worthy of pa passion worthy of this sport. I think that's the wrong grammar, but could be wrong. Take the helm of official teams and clubs from the most prestigious leagues in the world. I don't know any of these leagues because I don't know any country other than the other than Europe that actually plays rugby. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Rugby's like soccer in America, like. We're like the world plays it, but not really. No, it's not. It's not really big. No one really cares about it. So uh, yeah, that's rugby. Let's look at these pictures though. And th that just looks like a gang rape right there. All right. Yeah, gang rape on rugby. Everyone, wait. Does that? Am I seeing that wrong, or is that two people inside one? Do you see that, Colin? Where? On the first picture on rugby. Like, um, the black shirts. Yeah, <laughs> with the two arms. Yes! The two I don't there? know. I don't know what's going on there. It's like hun hunchback right there, dude. I think it's illegal, man. God. But, I don't um, know what's going on in the second picture. It looks like they're being lifted up yeah. to do something. I think they're. Tr I think he's trying to either receive or they're just like grabbing their nuts, man. They're like, "Give me some, get me up God. with some." Then that one black guy's like, "Man, I wish I was there." <laughs> <laughs> man, I wish I could be the guy that gets pushed up in the air. Uh, then another gang rape, everyone. <laughs> Look for more arms than are necessary. Yeah. I don't see anything like that, but there's, All right, good. there's a lot of gang rape going on. Then this black guy, I can't I'm tell if his face. Yeah, I can't tell if his face is in the in the whatever the rugby ball is called. <laughs> I'm gonna call it football because it looks like one, but uh, it looks like his face is in the football. I could be wrong. I could, that could be uh, all amazing physics and graphics right there, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Like his jaw is just being pushed yeah, over by the ball. Like his hand, like he's like sucking on his hand right on his finger right now, man. <laughs> he's like giving himself a fish hook or something <laughs> with his finger. His finger just all. Then this one, I don't even know what to make of this. 
is uh, <laughs> nothing more I've gang seen raids. Five minutes. I've seen literally less than five minutes of a rugby Wait. match. This is what I saw: just a bunch of men <laughs> standing like this and just pushing oh. each other. Like I don't know what there's, it's supposed there to be. Is. The right under number seven, there's a guy right there, and his arm is going through. I think which I think the number is five, right in the middle. I'm pr like it's going straight through. Just punch uh, him straight through the head. Straight. But um, God. that is rugby. <laughs> also, that one guy who rated this game gave it a one, gave it a five. <laughs> 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 Oh I, my I don't God. know what to think of this. That one guy. That poor one guy. <laughs> well, guys, I'm we're going to tip the scales. I'm, uh, gonna, I'm rating it one. This Actually, no. I'm rating it five. This is the game of the future. This is the sporting game of the future, everyone. I would have to say so. Now, um, $50 for a game that used to be like... I think $1 on 360. <laughs> I could be wrong there. I know it's an indie game, though. Just like I think hockey or field hockey is, which well, is pretty funny. Well, at least fun. it hasn't been freaking fondled by EA. Let's put it that way. It has, yeah, it's been fondled by Maximum Games, who nobody's ever heard of, and H, as well as HP Studios. Probably both from the UK, I bet. Maybe. Um, welcome to the no holds bared adrenaline rush that bared. is rugby. Bard, I've heard it both ways, so no, it's, it's all right. Not, it's I've heard it both things. ways. Thou has spoken. Now, yeah, rugby, everyone. Rug freaking B. And I've never heard of this. I mean, I've heard of Dynasty Warriors, but I've never... 23 gigs, though, for a really bad-looking game. That that's actually sounds impressive. Oh, the player becomes a hero from Three Kingdoms era with the goal of unifying all of ancient... Oh, my God. Oh, ancient God. Under one, you can under also import rule. saved yeah, data from... This. No. So it's a fighting game. Mix it with is a strategy it, game? Is it a fighting... I don't think it is a fighting game. It kind of looks like it. Images. Let's look at the images. We need to. We need to f uncover this basis. We are the de detectives of this Xbox store right now. Oh my God! This, this is look, terrible. Yeah, it looks really bad. It looks. It looks really bad. I'm, Dude, I'm <laughs> looking at it on like the Twitch feed. Oh. It just looks so unreal. Well, I've got too, not good enough. I don't got good enough internet. It's like rocks at like 240 pixels. It's like just one big pixel of color. <laughs> so it's not great when I go on Twitch. So we're going to take... I kind of feel like rating this just because. Actually, that's what we should have been doing. We're going to start doing it. We're going to rate every game that is on the marketplace I'm right now. I'm not doing that. I don't I am. believe in rating games. I will go I'm in... You I'll give it a two stars, because, I mean, 23 gigs for a really bad graphic game sounds actually impressive, because it probably is really full of bullcrap, but from what I've seen, and from a game that was released, what's the date, 27th, 28th? No. Yeah, I think it's something. <laughs> released roughly five, w released within a week ago, already $50. That, that's just terrible. At least from the filming of this, yes. Well, yeah, and possibly upload. We'll we'll see that. We'll All see. Right, how we're gonna goes. go to roundabout because that looks funny. Um, here we go. Fifteen dollars released roughly two weeks ago is a roundabout is a seventies B movie game. What's a seventy? What does that even mean? What? Uh. I don't even know what that <laughs> means. <laughs> where, where you drive a constantly revolving limousine, pick up passengers, find suit. <laughs> I can't finish it. It's so bad. It's a de debut title from No Goblin, a studio founded by designers like Destroy All Hum. Oh wow, really? That it's rock band? What? For those of you who don't know, Rock Band is actually coming to Xbox One, and PS4 as well. And destroy all humans also means pandemic studios. That intrigues me. <laughs> what the hell? I would totally be willing to put fifteen dollars down on this. This no. just this <laughs> just saw, is you saw the Twitch feed, you wouldn't. God, I'm gonna look at the images. <laughs> oh god. 
go uh, also hashtag endorse uh, Ford. They circle um, the problem always. What this looks IRL, IRL. That looks like what? <laughs> What's happening right here? <laughs> is people getting? Is he? Are we murdering people? <laughs> I think we are. I don't know what you're looking. What at. the heck? How did you even get up there? That makes no sense. Why are you dropping people off there? Is he gonna commit suicide? Is he gonna jump off that? Oh my god. This game. $15 would do. Enter Defiance approved. Boom. Five star. Uh, we're gonna give you four stars. I'm sorry. Four stars. Why? Just because it looks awesome. It looks so good. It doesn't look fun at all. It looks really Alright, we're going to Hand of Fate. Now, I've heard a, quite a bit about this game, actually. I have heard of literally nothing. Uh, it's I a nothing, card game. It's, nothing, it's basically going to be, it's, okay. from my inference, it's going to be um, war, um, Blizzard's... Well, it's not Blizzard, but it's going to be whatever that... Hearthstone, but not free. That's my inference, anyway. My assumption. Which it's, I do understand what assume can make people do and sound like, but you know what, YOLO. YOLO! Hashtag YOLO swag! Um, in which builds, which is used to deal out dungeon bosses, all the cards collected fly and fully modeled three day. That sounds really stupid. Sounds like Pokemon or Yu Gi Oh! What is this? <laughs> um, images. Let's check this out. Four images, alright. Um, yeah, it sounds a lot like Yu-Gi-Oh, just not Yu-Gi-Oh. Is that weird? Uh, it doesn't look like Yu-Gi-Oh, actually. Okay, now that... Does. What the heck? What's happening here? I think, this explains I think you nothing. draw cards. I, I'm just going to make the assumption of you draw cards, and then the cards you draw, you go through a dungeon, and then you kill everything in the dungeon with the cards that you get. Who made this? Defiant uh, Development. Huh? Defiant Development. You know what? Interdefiant, interdefiance approved. Guess what? Four stars. No, no, I can't do that. That's no. I'm gonna give you three though, just because I it's I don't know twenty dollars. Sounds like an interesting idea. Sounds like fate. Fate for those of you PC gamers who are like ten and played that awesome game because I certainly did when I was ten. Anyway, moving on. Blue Estate. No, I've heard, I've read this already. I know a fair amount. Not really. This I, game I just, was released on the 18th. It yeah. is currently, what, 10 days after that? Uh, it's already on sale, yeah. Yeah. It's on sale. It's, it's or, on sale from $13. Like, it's like a 10% off sale. Like, there's not much point. Now, <laughs> excuse me. Ooh. Now, let's see. Um... It is two players, so my my estimation, this is like your arcade title. I don't know what a rail shooter is, but I assume it's like any mobile shooter game because they're all crap. Or an arcade game. Now, I have a question. What? Can you see the fifth picture? Can you see the fifth picture in the pictures? Um, the fifth one, I see I'm at three. Hold on. Five. Yeah, what the... Uh, is that Kim Jong-un? What, like, is, what is happening here? I don't like this. Is that like Kim Jong-un in, like, all gold pants? He's got, like, golden, like, sleeves. Dude, Most there's funny. radiation, nuclear warheads. This is North Korea. I bet this is made by a North Korean development team. He saw. I'm going to look you up after this. All right, so I, let's get back to the description. Now it's a rail shooter, whatever that means. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what it means, but just you not you don't have freedom of movement. That's what I'm gonna assume right now. Welcome to the first next gen rail shooter. Yeah, you will play Tony Luciano, the psychopathic. Son oh, awesome. Okay, you're a psychopath. Of a psychopathic son of Italian, a, Italian mafia, mafia godfather. godfather of L.A. and Clarence and X. Anyways. Navy SEAL. Okay. Yeah, like what? Why? Okay, That's rail like the shooter. the weirdest, like, <sighs> so I think, partnership I've ever heard of. Yeah, this. I'm pretty sure it's made for only Connect though. 
This is not Intro Defiance approved. I don't think so. It's not Intro Defiance approved. Oh, wait, here we go. We got a full layout. So it's got combined headshots with combos and a race against time. Arcade mode. Huh. I wonder. Is that maybe the entirety of the game? Probably. Uh, it's Seven playable missions. with an Xbox One Connect or an Xbox One wireless controller. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. A sophisticated scoring system for comparing your scores online and 23 achievements to unlock. There's only oh. 23? What? What? <laughs> what? Well, That's an arcade title. Yeah, Let's move along here. Basically, along. arcade title. Yeah, so this is not Intro Defiance approved. Um, we're going to give. <laughs> We're gonna give it like a, a one star. I'm I'm gonna say one star. Just yeah, we totally forget about the twos and the three. So we just go from well, one, to four, and five. So we only use those. Yeah, uh, let's go to escapist now, Cullen. You're gonna I'm, you're gonna explain this one because my throat's dead because I'm right. sick right now. Ugh! The escapist. Uh, got a Pokemon look here. We got like one of those overviews that looks a lot like the original Pokemon games. Never played what? one of those. Sorry, yeah. but not sorry. <laughs> The um, second best-selling franchise in the entire world, other than Mario. Nope, Not man. even he hasn't even played a second of it. Unbelievable. Nope, I have played at least about a half hour, and I got a Cyndaquil up like twenty levels. I was going Dude, ham. Cyndaquil's the best. It's pretty, bad. it's pretty bad. I just told myself that I was gonna get addicted to it. And I was like, nope, not having that. All right, it is an. Just, a, this yeah. game is an a is an award-winning Prison Break simulation that provides players. With the opportunity of experiencing a light-hearted insight into everyday prison life. Well, this just sounds like the ass end of uh, Monaco. That's what I was thinking. I was going to be like, Monaco! It literally sounds a lot like the ass end. Hey, Monaco, for those of you who don't know Monaco, it was a great game. You should definitely it was, look we, it up. You played it maybe like... I loved it. Hour. That was interdefined approved, okay? That was like... Like out of five stars, like four point eight. Okay, it was so good. Wasn't that great. It was so funny. It was, it was so funny. Like the noise, the audio. It made. It was like the best indie game out out that year. I'm pretty sure. Friggin Whatever. It was so good. Got so many awards. So this looks a lot like it's Pokemon mixed in with like a hint of Minecraft. When he, out so the okay, like a, so a Minecraft basically what it is, it is for those PC gamers, it is Prison Architect, but instead of being the prison warden, you're actually a prisoner. So forget making a prison, you're now a prisoner, and that's the idea. That's just in an idea. actually made prison, let me say. I have played Prison Architect. I suck at it. It is like one of the most confusing games ever. Like, I made buildings. Oh, what am I... It's just... It's gonna make me cry. <laughs> it's not good. But, um, here's the pictures. Um, Dead or Alive 5, good lord. Two pet, what? Someone stole... Dude, I bet this was made by the people who made Monaco. Team 17 Digital LTD. No, I don't think and that is. And Mundily... Modely... Tough <laughs> Studios? What? I don't I know. I can't even say words. What are words? Well, that was... Ex I'm gonna... I'm gonna give this because I love Monaco so much, and this game actually sounds pretty good. Three stars. Three stars sounds about right. Do we even have to go over Dead or Alive? <laughs> um, I'd rather not because yeah, it's like it, I, it's like it's like a sports now. game. Every year, it's well, actually, it's not released every year, actually. But <laughs> I'm saying it, it's like a sports game that's released every year. All it is is an updated roster. My favorite, yes. No, no we're right. skipping Dead or Alive. Forget yes. it. We got we got the best game on the market here, everyone. <laughs> Don Bradman Cricket. Holy crap! Woo! <laughs> now this is a true sports game. A sports game that was not... Wait, hold on, let me check. Okay, okay, it's not. A sports game that was not made or published or developed or anywhere touched or raped or fondled by EA. Amazing. <laughs> a freaking amazing. Okay, now th this is... <laughs> This is just a glory. This is so glorified. Like the movie Glory. 
great movie. Check it out if you don't know it. You you need to watch it. Those who do know it, this is the sports version of it. Okay? We're, they're going to be throwing a bunch of a 16-year-old at a fort-like team of cricket. I, I don't even know cricket. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But it's awesome. We're going to read this because it's awesome. Two stars. That, that, that thousand people who said uh, who have out to be two stars, you can all go die. Okay? This is easily a five-star game. We can all see it. Now, we're going to read the description. Descri description. Sorry. Intuitive controls that allow for line and length deliveries without pitch markers and realistic shot control when batting. Holy God. Did it just get religious in here? Because I think it did. Okay? <laughs> no, is this sarcasm that you're using? No. Or are you being no, serious? I'm being this is this is a state of art sports game right here. Okay? <laughs> it's not it hasn't been fondled by EA. That's amazing. Honestly. That is amazing. <laughs> Even if it's cricket. Through, but can we just take a gander at this picture on the front? This Pic man's teeth. Th <laughs> Hey man, that's the English for you. <laughs> Supposedly. Now, that man is a that man is a perfect specimen for the evolution of humanity in the UK. Alright. Alright. Is this even the UK? <laughs> exact yeah, it's cricket. Cricket's UK, I think. Pretty sure. I hope. I don't know if that's racist or No, that's that's legit. I'm near certain crickets only in UK. Like football, like American football is only in America because we're but retarded. Then, but then everyone's like, "Oh, football. You yeah. mean soccer?" No, it's nah. it's not soccer though. And anyway, we're getting back to the game. We're getting back to cricket, okay? Forget we're getting that. Back to the game that's not been Take a 16-year-old aspiring cricketer through the ranks to international glory mode. I mean, glory in career mode. Holy crap. They have a career mode. That's impressive. That sounds aspiring and inspiring all at the same time. I feel like I just got fondled by Don Bradman himself. He came through that TV and whispered in my ear, you <laughs> must buy this right now because I will rape you if you don't. That is what just happened. Okay. <laughs> now... <laughs> Now, this game, yes, we're going to be spending a lot, a few more minutes on it because it is the best. Now, to be honest, a, game, a sports game that's not been touched or fondled by EA is probably one of the greatest ex things in Except the world. for that other soccer game, Pro Whatever Evolution. Don't, don't even touch that. that. That's the worst. Don't even think about that. Now. We're going to get back to the fact, we're going to forget about everything I just, well not forget about it, but we're going to go up a little bit to the co-op. This game has co-op. Not only are you taking one 16 year old, you're taking two 16 year olds. I don't know the positions, I don't know what cricket is other than the family guy skit of it, which was like a hundred steps to playing it, or maybe it was stuff, but whatever did it. It looked there terrible. Are people on the field that are wearing helmets that don't look like they need to wear helmets, and then there's people yeah. on the field that look it's, like that aren't. It's weird. Should be wearing like helmets. I thought baseball was terrible enough as is, but then there's cricket. Anyway, <laughs> now, now let's see. Fully customize your play experience. Set up tours, competitions, create players. Teams and even umpires in the Cricket Academy. Can you even do that? What in like FIFA? Can you do that in FIFA? Um, what create everything? Yes, yeah. actually, yeah. You can I? I don't know about umpires and like. Does EA even do baseball? I assume. I assume they no, do. It's not. It's not. It's done not. By EA. Well, it's actually done by like Sony. I think. No, no, no. It's done by Two K, isn't it? I heard, guess, but it's yeah. only on the PS4. Baseball? Really? Baseball's only on the PlayStation. I know there's demos of baseball games on the 360. It's not like the ML, like not MLB the uh, show. Well, it's whatever, like whatever, whatever. So, empire, umpires, players, teams, set up tours. I don't know what that means. I'm going to assume that's a whole awesome feature in itself. That's three hours of gameplay right there, I'm going to assume. Awesome. Now, let's go on to Onward. 
Access thousands of community-created players and teams ready for download and use in game. That sounds horrible. Also, that sounds awesome. Kind of scary. Because Maybe we can actually get Qui Gon Jinn to come and play. Yes, um, because I know someone out there in those thousands of players slash communities will have made the most retarded man in the world. I I can I can tell it. Somebody watch this who's watching this look up like a mass effect 3 um look up a uh, mass effect 3 zombie shepherd or really dumb shepherd face you can find hundreds like i never thought you could really make a retarded character on bioware but you can really, you really can like oblivion for instance you can make green people green nords everyone I'm not lying. My brother did it. It was scary. Anyway, let's go onward. Hone your skills to perfection in the practice nets before taking the field. Yeah, get good before even playing. That's how you do it. Practice makes, makes perfect, don't you know? You know how to get to Carnegie Hall? No. Practice. Exactly. <laughs> That's how you make it to London, everyone. Boom. Carnegie Hall is not... <laughs> well, no, I mean because it's cricket in UK. Oh. Now, this is probably one of the best slash most favorite... Um, well, actually, my second favorite, sorry. My second favorite description of the game. Dynamic time of day, weather, and pitch wear that will keep you on the edge as no two matches will ever play the same. That sounds awesome. Also sounds exactly what you, um, Ubisoft said about Unity's um, co-op missions. Surprise, they lied. Well, technically. Surprise, they lied. But hey, this still sounds awesome, because who doesn't like dynamic time and weather? I sure do. Anyway, continue your match wherever you want with a unique online save system. Now... That doesn't sound anything. That sounds like a normal save system at all. That sounds I, I like don't a normal know. save system. I don't know what Unless to think about. Unless you're like mid-pitch, and then you can save it right there. Yeah, but that's pretty cool. And you're but just like, all right. I'll you you can actually do that at anyway with the Xbox One by just pausing the game, then going and then turning it off, and coming back unless, hours later. Unless, unless it plays a lot like Dark Souls, because if you play well, Dark Souls. Yeah. That's the only thing you're going to be able to do for well, the, however long games, you're going to play. You can't yeah. pause that game. Anyway, There's no pausing. This is my next favorite. All right, okay. Well, I don't know. The last one's pretty inspiring, too. The most realistic physics ever seen in a cricket game, including thin edges. Sorry, my throat. <clears throat> bat pad catches, intimidating bouncers, and much more. I think God I just even, kissed me on my forehead, everyone. Speechless. I don't even know how to... I think God just kissed me yeah. on my forehead. That was the most ah. descripted, descriptive, sorry, words of text I've ever seen in a game description <laughs> ever. That was heavenly. Now, as good as that was, this last one is pretty good, too. Crisp Next gen graphics. Now let's check out these graphics, shall we? We're not. We're gonna go to images, even though they, even if they lie, still. Now look at that. That I, sounds. I honestly don't know how cricket's played. I think yeah, I don't know what's happening in that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what's happening in that picture. But hey, I look. There's the practice the area. That's the point. Oh look at you can get streaks, kill streaks. Obviously not kill streaks, but hey, get ready to call him that sentry gun. Yeah, you're man. Need it to take Whoa! Out that ball. What the heck is? What does he do? <laughs> is his hand going through the bat? What? No. What? What are you talking about? In what, picture what three, picture three with a maybe black guy. I don't know if it's not. I'm sorry, but it looks pretty black from this angle. Is. I think it looks like he kind of broke his elbow. It, I think he kind yeah, of like he I don't know what's part. happening there, but his, I'm pretty sure his hand's going through the handle. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, so let's go 
Why is he facing the other way? What's? Why are you facing that way? Are you supposed to go the other? Oh my god. I don't even know where you are. This is so Okay, weird. so picture five. That seems legit. That seems baseball right there. I love how the handle's going through his fingers, though. Love it. Um, it is, though, too. Look at all those PDFs in the back, too. That's a funny thing. My god. <laughs> oh, look at that guy. Now, if he catches that, that I can see that ball dropping and now just drop. Like, no gra like gravity just, just stops it and just drops to the ground. Like, in real life, he's, he's going to miss that. I can clearly <laughs> see that. If he catches that, aimbot. Aimbot. Catches that aimbot. <laughs> now, this, I don't know what to make of. Oh, wait, maybe he's about to hit it. Never mind. Okay, I can. I think he already hit it. That's what I was thinking. Like, maybe he just hit it. Like, why? Why is it going that way? Did he hit it, like, with, like, a re... I, I don't even know. I, I don't know how to, what to make of that. Let's just move... Oh, God! Oh, God! That scared the crap out of me. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. Thought I was playing White Noise for a second there. God. Once again, the handle's going through their hand. What? I mean, come on. It's a picture for God's sakes. You can clearly see it. At least have the decency to fix it in a picture. I don't think they can. <laughs> God. Now, that was Don Bradman Cricket, everyone. That was just... This This looks like the best. I'm going to go to the Game Hub just because I need to see what's happening. Though I'm near certain none of my friends have this, so I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely nothing. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Um oh wait, people to want No, don't know. No. Nope. So nope. I guess we're going to end it here. Um that was Don Bradman Cricket. This whole episode is dedicated to that man right there. That guy. <laughs> I dedicate my life to that guy. Now, the view in store cuz we totally forgot it, this this is by far interdefiance approved. Five stars easy. Maybe even six. Like realistic physics, intuitive controls, 16 year olds, man. Holy crap. Career mode. <laughs> that just that just gets that gets me right in the heart, man. Right in the heart. So as I said, we're gonna end this here for now. Definitely tune in for the next episode of the Xbox Store. Now, I don't even know if this is legal. Whatever. We're doing it.